Danny, he's here. For you have you injured in the escape? Arthur, Arthur. Arthur, we want to return with you to England. No matter what the cost, we must put things right. The Sparrow will do horrible harm to the same Arthur. We must stop it now before it continues. Let us pay for what we have done. At the stake? No. I shan't take you back. I won't let you return. For what end? Justice? They forgot justice long ago. They want revenge. Revenge, the most worthless of causes. It's too late, Max. The table is dead. It exists no more. What? Oh, half the knights were killed in the yard. Mordred has led to Orkney, taking some with him. I suppose they organized an army against me. The rest are in their fence, itching for dawn, cheerful to be at war. Oh, it's those uncivilized days come back again. Those dreadful days we all tried to put to sleep forever. It's your wish, Arthur, that this dread battle go on. No, it's not my wish, Lance. But I can think no longer of what to do but by the tide of events. Oh, what a blight thinking is. How oh, I wish I'd never tried to think at all. All we've been through, but nothing but an idea. Something you cannot taste and touch. Without light, substance, reality, or memory. The strain begins soon. We must go back to Joy Scar. Jenny is not a Joy Scar, right? She stays with the Holy Sisters. Is there nothing to be done? Nothing, lads. But to play out the game and leave the rest to God. Now go. Yes, Camelot, my boy. Where 
once it never rained till after sundown. Friday a.m. the morning fog had blown. Don't let it be forgot that once there was a spot for oh, one brief shining moment that was known as Camelot. My teacher Merlin, who always remembered things that have happened better than things that have, told me that once, a few hundred years from now, it will be discovered that the world is round. Round like the table at which we sat with such high hope and noble purpose. If you do, I ask. Perhaps one day people will sit around the world, as we did at our table in Camelot, and go questing. Perhaps one day they'll go questing for right and honor and justice. Arthur? Come here, Pelly. Give me my sword. Kneel, Tom. Kneel. With this sword, Excalibur, I knight you, Sir Tom of Warwick. Now return home and carry out my orders. Yes, my lord. What are you doing, Arthur? We have a battle to fight. Battle, Pelly? I won my battle. Here's my victory. Now run, Sir Tom. Run. Through the line. Yes, my lord. Run, Sir Tom. Through the line. Who was that, Arthur? One of what we are, Pelly. Less than a drop in the great blue ocean of the sunlit sea. But it seems some of those bombs are too small.